Imagine having the power that you can access your workspace securely from any time, from any location, and also from any device. Today's shift towards remote and hybrid work models has really expanded the cybersecurity perimeter. Most of the time, your employees or even your contractors that you hired for certain job from marketplaces like Upwork or Fiverr, they use their own personal devices and they can be also be on ASIC networks. So it's very challenging to maintain consistent security protocols because you don't, you don't know what they have in their computers. There could be viruses, there can be malware. And when you give access to certain part of your business, even if it's WordPress WP admin access, FTP, SSH, there is a high chance that the website will be infected also. And I'm telling you this from my own experience. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can mitigate all of those risks and where you can give secure workspace to anyone. So stay tuned and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to thank you all for your continuing support in year 2023 and I'm also wishing you all the best in the year 2024. So as I was mentioning in the intro that I have something special for you and today's video will be all about Cousin Workspaces. We will talk what, what are, what is the Cousin Workspaces, how you can install it and also I will show you demonstration how really easy is to give secure environments to your employees. You can create full desktops for them. And also, for example, give just one single point of access to FileZilla or even browser securely. And you mitigate all of the risk coming from their devices because you don't have control of their devices. So what is custom workspaces? Cousin Workspaces is a container streaming platform where you can stream, for example, applications like Google Chrome, Firefox, FileZilla, and many other great applications. Also, you have the power to deploy full-blown desktop environment for your employees or for your full-time contractors that they need access at any time, any point of... from anywhere, basically. It's really, really simple. So let me introduce you to the Chasm. So of Chasm Workspaces is basically, it is open source piece of software that you can install it for free as a community edition. You can use it for non-profit or personal use. You cannot use it for your business or commercial use. And also you will have only five concurrent session limits. It comes for free. You can find the source code for the custom images and other, other parts of the software on their GitHub. But if you wish to use custom workspaces for commercial and business use, I highly suggest that you purchase the license. With license, you will also get a business support. For a professional license, you will get next business day support, and it costs only $5 a month per user. If you want really fast support, there is enterprise option, which you will get same day business day support, and it costs only $10 a month for a user. Those license types are only for the server-hosted version, so you will need to deploy the server, and also you will need to maintain your server. If you don't wanna do that, the Chasm Technologies has also software as a service. So you can just uh, subscribe and you will have access to workspace instantly. So the pricing for Teams is $18 a month for a user. And for the enterprise starts from $25 a user a month. So the pricing is pretty affordable for everyone. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the self-hosted version 
of the community custom workspace. So follow along, I prepare the documentation so you can follow step by step. And now it's time that I will show you or demonstrate the custom workspace environment. Let me just quickly log in to my own custom workspace environment. And this is your main admin dashboard. But first we will go to the workspaces where as you can see, I have five workspace, Google Chrome, Fedora Desktop, FileZilla, Kali Linux, and Ubuntu Desktop. So first let me launch Chrome and you will see how fast and easy it is for you to give access to zero trust browser. This session is not stored anywhere unless you decide to give a persistent storage, which I will show you later. But everything what happened here in the browser, when you terminate the session, everything is gone. And this environment is secure. There are no malware infections, no viruses, no trackers, anything. So let me just go to webnestify.cloud and you are just working in the secure browser in your browser. Isn't that cool? Next feature, a great feature is that you can also, let me delete this session, that you can also give a persistent uh, storage for any desktop. If you have employees that are working on a day-to-day basis within your company, you don't need to purchase a new computer. You just set up the persistent storage and they have a desktop environment. You have also option to set up a Windows virtual machine. So you will need to connect your virtual cloud Windows machine to the chasm. But I'm not going to show you how we can do it. So here, for example, in this Fedora environment, you have access to basically all of the software that, that any developer will need. You have Sublime Text. You have a Visual Code Studio. You can even do Zoom meetings access emails only office so it's really powerful let me close this session again and for example if you need to give someone like ftp or sftp access you can just set up the filezilla workspace and here you have secure environment where your contractor can access your your website, your server, securely. It's pretty easy and straightforward. And now I'm going to tell you about the, the persistent storage. I'm using Kali and I have the persistent profile enabled. And everything what I do, if I save some files for later, they will be presented on the desktop. As you can see, here is a test folder with a file. This stays here. Once I do the job, I just close the session. Now I return next day and I'm going to continue where I finished. So I'm going to open it again. And as you can see, the files are here. So you have the option to set up the persistent storage for your employees or contractors. So let me navigate to the settings and here in the access management, you can control your users and also you can set up a different, different groups. For example, I created a group for contractors and also you can add any, any group like employees. It's going to be priority eight. You can give it a description and you can save it. And you can automatically set the employees group will have the persistent storage option. But you don't want to do that for the contractors because most of the time it is just one time job. So they do the job, you close the workspace and that's it. So now when we move to the workspace settings and in the registry, as you can see, 
you have a lot of options that you can provide. You can deploy various desktop environments, even Kali Linux, Ubuntu, or even Debian. Or if you prefer any other browser than Chrome, you have option to deploy Brave, Chromium, Firefox, or if someone in need SSH access, you can just deploy Remina and they will be able to connect your server securely. And you have various other applications that are developed by Fkazen Technologies that are verified. If you want a little bit more of the workspace options, you can also set up the Linux server.io repository and those applications are maintained by them, but it is not officially supported, but you can use it if you want more options. So yeah, it is really, very really straightforward and is very easy to use. So if you want to step up your game or if you have some security issues, if you hire someone from Upwork or Fiverr, you can just give them one-time access to any workspace that you choose. I also created uh, this blog post that was in the intro, the evolving threat, and to understand today's digital security landscape, you can read more about it, what security challenges are in today's environment, what kind of cyber threats are there, so you can read more. And also I created a blog post basically talking about the power of the secure workspaces and how you can mitigate all the security risks. So if you want, I will leave links down in the description. You can read at your, at your own pace. And now we can proceed with the installation. But before we start the installation, I want to show you also one great feature that you can install on your main Chrome or Firefox. You can install the browser extension Chasm open in isolation. This is really crucial if you think that the link can be malicious or if it's fake, you can just install this extension. In the settings, you can set up your workspace uh, URL. And when you will see some link that you think is malicious or etc., you can just go to the link. You can right click. Let me go here. You can right click. And as you can see at the bottom, you see open link in Chasm. So automatically it will open any link you click in separated and containerized environments. So you know that nothing will happen to your computer. So this is also one great feature that you can be sure, or if you are unsure that link is okay, you can just open it automatically in your Chasm workspace. So now let's proceed with the installation. So also before we begin installation, we, we will need to read about some requirements. And as you can see, the Chasm workspaces can be installed in a single server or multi-server setup. In my guide, I it is for single server setup and for the requirements uh, operating system, you can use latest Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, you can also use ARM arch architecture if you want. And for the recent requirements, the minimum are two CPU cores, four gigabyte of memory, 50 gigabyte of disk. But I highly recommend to, to go to at least with four CPU cores, eight, or 16 gigabyte of system memory. So you have some uh, headroom for more gross spaces if you want to use it for production environment. Okay, so what left to do, you can also read the documentation step-by-step, step, how you can install the kind of workspaces. And before we begin, we need to our server, right? So then my server provider of choice is always Hetzner. Because Hessner is uh, really cheap, you get free DDoS protection, and you got plenty of traffic. You will get 20 terabyte of traffic on their cheaper server, which other server providers don't offer. And you have to pay extra for firewall or even the DDoS protection. 
with Hessner, you have this included. If you want to get started with Hessner, you can follow my link in the description. You will get $20 in a cloud credits and you can test it. And I hope you will like it. So we're going to deploy our server. I already done, but I choose uh, Falkenstein in Germany, dedicated CPU, and I choose four core, 16 gigabyte of memory, 160 gigabyte of disk. So this will be plenty for for those five workspaces session that you have in the com in the community license. So okay, let me move back. And once you deploy your server, I highly recommend to point your designated domain to this IP address. So when you deploy a custom workspace with Caddy, you will get automatic SSL and you can visit your installation straight away. So let me point my domain to this IP and we can begin. So let me move to the terminal. And first of all, when you set up a new server, always do the basic security setup. So we're gonna change the password. Also, you want to create your uh, local user with pseudo privileges. And to give this user pseudo privileges, you type user mode, ag pseudo and the username. You can find all the basic server security step-by-step step in my documentation. So I highly recommend to read it. And once you have secured up your server, you just need to follow step-by-step step installation guide that is in this documentation. And also you can check the official installation guide on the Chasm website. So let me move back to terminals. And first, what we want to install is the Docker repositories. And once I finish installing with the step-by-step, -step, we will continue. So I downloaded the latest Chasm Workspace package. I unzip it, and now I'm going to proceed with the installation. But here you have also two options. If you want to install Chasm on the default port, you just do this command, but I highly recommend to set up your own port, which is more secure, and you copy this. You go to terminal, and here you need to remove everything in the square brackets, and you need to type your port. So I'm gonna just do a random number like 9874 and you press enter you agree with the end users agreement and now you just have to wait until the installation is finished if you got this warning on your server that you want to create a swap partition on the system is recommended to create so you just type yes and you can choose one gigabyte so you press one and it will automatically create the swap file on your server. All right, so now the Chasm software is installed on our server and make sure to take a note of those default login credentials. So once you take a note and store them in your uh, Bitwarden password manager, we can proceed to make this installation public. And for this, uh, we will use Caddy which is another reverse proxy application, but also you can use a Cloudflare tunnel, as you can saw in my many videos that I'm using Cloudflare tunnel for many applications. If you want to know how you can set up your Cloudflare tunnel to get extra DDoS protection, you can watch this video, setting up Cloudflare tunnel, and you will be good to go. But in this tutorial, I wanted to show you also another option, and it is Caddy. So, uh, to install Caddy, 
you need to copy this command, which will add the repositories and update the system and install the caddy on our server. So let's go back to the terminal. You can paste it. Confirm. And our caddy should be installed right now. Uh, next thing what you want to do, you will need to edit the caddy file. Uh, you can remove this and you can copy the config from the documentation. And now here is the most crucial part. So you need to change this example domain to your domain that you already set it up after you deploy your cloud server. So it will be chasm, but we're going to specify the cloud. And also here you will need to specify uh, your port. So I already forget, so let me close. And we set up our port on 9874. So we're going to do 9874. Control O enter to confirm, Control X to exit. And now we will need to reload our caddy. And we can verify that our caddy is running. System control status caddy. And as you can see, it is, we got our SSL. So we can visit our workspace. Let me clear this. Let's go back to our browser. And we can do chasm.webnestify.cloud. And now we can log in with the credentials that you already saved. So let me update them. So it's going to be admin chasm.local and password. I click login. And first, what you want to do is to change the default password in your email. So what we're going to do, we're going to edit our profile and we will reset our password. I'm going to paste our current password and we will generate strong and secure password in our password manager. going to reset password. You can refresh to log in again. And now we want to change our email address. So we go to access management users. We're going to edit this admin. It's going to be chasm at webnestify.cloud. I'm going to save, refresh, and also for the Okay, so we're going to be chasm.webnestify.cloud. And also what I highly recommend is to set up two-factor authentication for administrators group. So what you want to do is go to the group, click edit, you go to settings, add the settings, and you type Enable to OTP two-factor and set the value to true and you submit. And next time you log into your workspace, you will need to set up your two-factor authentication code. And next uh, thing what you want to do is to set up your workspaces. When you go to the registry, you will get the same options as we have in the demonstration. And for example, we can install our Vivaldi browser. And now you here, you will see the progress. So you will need to wait a couple of minutes. So the workspace is downloaded and installed. So the installation of a Vivaldi workspace have been finished. So now we can navigate to workspaces and you just can open it in a new tab, current tab or new window and you can launch the session.
and you have your zero trust enterprise secure browser in a cloud that will leave no trace so it's really really powerful also on the left side you can control various settings like you can also enable the webcam sound microphone you can also use the clipboard so you paste the text here and it will be available in the workspaces uh, you can uh, stream quality you can change it to medium or high and also you can even share your session with your users in your workspace so let me go back and delete the session and i think that's it for this installation and now we will talk a little bit more about the chasm also so now i want to talk a little bit about the chasm workspace security you can read everything about their security on the documentation page and this uh, security is meant for the self-hosted version as you already realized the platform is very powerful and it is a flexible system that you can configure however you want in various different scenarios for the basics i recommend to check out their hardening script sticks which you can find on their GitHub page and you just clone this uh, repository and you can run those sticks yourself but if you don't want to hassle with the uh, server security I highly recommend that you check out their software as a serving offering uh, software as a service offerings where you just purchase your license depending on the users and you leave all the maintenance, all the security and all the support on them. The pricing starts at $18 a month for a user, which is very, very affordable. But for you who still want their own servers, but they, you don't know how you can secure up your server or basically don't have any experience with this, I have a great news that WebNestify have a partner up with Cousin Technology so we can offer secure workspaces to anyone. You can visit webnestify.cloud slash secure workspaces to schedule a demo or you can request your own workspace server. With this solution, you leave all the server management, all the security and compliance requirements to WebNestify and also you will get your own Cousin Workspace server with full support from WebNestify. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will give it a try also as a community edition. And with this solution, you can mitigate a lot of risks that are present in the standard uh, workspaces like when you give access to anyone so they can access those things on their own computers which you don't have any control of so as always thank you everyone who are watching all the best in the in the year 2024 and i have a lot of amazing things already scheduled for you so stay tuned for the next video bye bye